And we are live. Yes. Hello, Pete. Hello, Céline. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody can hear and see us. So I will do a small introduction. My name is Pete Colred. I'm the founder of Impact House, and it's the fourth day of our celebration week. So two years ago, I founded the Impact House to become the hub in Brussels for social entrepreneurship and impact investing. And like the days before, I will give a short introduction of five minutes on the topic. So on Monday, the keynote speaker was a social entrepreneur talking about gender equality. And in my introduction, I told the story of the bank called Lehman Sisters. On Tuesday, we looked from the investor's perspective with SI2 Fund. And in my introduction, I told the story of my aunt, Tante Annie. And yesterday, a young leader of the non-profit organization, Kiyo, explained how to escape from poverty. And in my introduction, I told the story of my support for youth for climate. So today, we will look behind the scenes of LITA the crowdfunding platform for impact enterprises and in my introduction i want to tell you why i invested in this platform so when i launched as i to fund in 2012 we had some press coverage i explained in interviews what we wanted to do with our fund being the first private social impact venture capital fund in Belgium, I explained why we believe there is a need for dedicated impact investors. Social businesses are a new concept and combining it with a venture capital approach was innovative in itself. I got several reactions from neighbors who wanted to co-invest. From regulatory point of view, we choose to open our funds for experience only for experienced uh, investors. With a minimum of 250,000 commitment, we knew that it was not very inclusive. But knowing the risk of the, this pioneering venture, we preferred to test with a small number of private investors, mostly high net worth individuals, family offices, and foundations. In the same period, we worked on a crowdfunding platform at that time called oxygen crowd because we believed we should open this exciting investing opportunities to everyone to avoid conflicts of interest or reputation risks we launched a platform for donations to social enterprises not equity nor loans but two years later and to keep our focus on the fund investment activities we sold our platform to bank de Groof, who changed the name into gingo but we still believed crowdfunding and social entrepreneurship could be a, a magic match, not only as a solution for the funding of social enterprises, but also for marketing and free ambassadors support reasons. People are proud on their companies with purpose, on those social innovations who the world, uh, on those social innovations who changed the world into a better place. They talk about it with friends and on social media, especially for B two C companies launching a new product or service crowdfunding for social enterprises is a good fit fit one more reason for me to invest in lita the leading crowdfunding platform for social enterprises is my ultimate goal to inspire as many belgians as possible about impact investing giving the opportunity to participate taking the risk but also having the benefits when it works well is a way to promote this impact space. My goal is to inspire people about social entrepreneurship and impact investing and crowdfunding is an opportunity to do so. One general comment slash disclaimer I have to make. Not all the proposals are with the same risk. Besides investing in equity, in impact ventures, what Lita offers today, also many other, more other investments should be made available for larger pub publics. Everyone should be able to invest in social housing with very moderate risks and a return of 2-3%. Everyone can invest in wind energy cooperatives with moderate to very few risks and returns up to 5%. Everyone can invest in co-housing loans, in social offices, in triodos certificates. 
but to feel the drive and feel really involved, an investment in a crowdfunded local initiative can be a good second step to discover the vibrant space of Belgian social enterprises. And listening to Lita's story today is the first step. Enjoy. So Celine now, I guess. Thank you, Pete, and we are located that you, you launched two years ago. Uh, very happy to be one of the uh, here in this house. It's been two years that we are now here. Um, and maybe you can tell us more about the house and because maybe some people don't know. So we're located basically in the center of Brussels. And what did you want to do with this house? So Impact House is a, a bit of materialization of a dream that I had 10 years ago, starting an ecosystem around what social entrepreneurs need. I see many nice, good ideas in from people with uh, large ambitions and, and, and good uh, intentions. And sometimes oh, I see also many needs. Sometimes they need network, sometimes they need uh, finance, sometimes they need uh, coaching or, or help in different ways. So the idea is if you build something really around all the needs of the social entrepreneurs, uh, it should involve all the, those aspects. And the Impact House in Brussels is a really a concretization, a materialization of this ecosystem view on impact investing. So it's open for non-profit organizations, for-profit organizations, for coaching activities, but also for events um, and um, offices, uh, work, uh, co-working space. So that's uh, the whole idea. So everyone, welcome to have a coffee, to grasp a coffee and to learn uh, about the Impact House. And soon maybe tomatoes in the garden and maybe barbecue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very happy to be here at the Impact House. I will show you a little bit uh, the team uh, a bit later. Uh, but uh, first, first things first, I will um, use a PowerPoint and show you a little bit what we are doing uh, with Lita um, here and, and go a little bit uh, in the depth of uh, what we are doing on a daily uh, basis in order to, um, to 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 create this is the end of the PowerPoint and no 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 <laughs> okay don't look at the slides <laughs> uh, voila this is the intro um, so we are indeed the first impact investing platform of Europe uh, basically we are based um, in in Belgium but also in in France in Italy and soon in Luxembourg um, so uh, why the first impact investing platform? Well, because on Nita, as you know, you can invest only um, in um, impactful companies that have been selected by your team uh, with a very strong um, impact, uh, companies that are sustainable, that are innovative socially or environmentally. And uh, I will explain you how we are doing so uh, along this, uh, this presentation. Um, so we are indeed a, a group dedicated to finance positive impact. How we are doing this? Well, I was saying we are located in three and soon four different countries. Uh, we have among us uh, more than 40,000 members uh, that are um, active investors. And we raised so far 65 million euros uh, thanks to the crowd and also private investors. I will come back on that a bit later. Um, we're a fast-growing company. Yes, um, I started working with Lita about three years and a half ago in Belgium. Um, and when I started, we were eight employees. So far and now, we are 40 people working in different uh, departments of the company, um, everything around development, uh, the analyst team, of course, the investors relationships, um, team, the marketing team. So all of it makes it possible. Uh, all these 40 people that are located uh, in, in those three countries that I mentioned make it possible to uh, raise uh, these millions of euros for uh, more than 100 uh, companies so far. We have a B Corp certification. 
And uh, these figures that you are seeing are for France and Belgium, but I will go along through the, the, the presentation. Um, the online platform, maybe some of you know it already. You can discover companies that we've selected for you. You can invest and you can follow your investment. Basically, it's a tailor-made solution for, for entrepreneurs to raise funds and to follow their community of investors. I mean, you, let's hope. Uh, a few figures, a few key figures about Lita. Uh, the average age on the platform is 45 years old, even though we have people ranked in between 18 years old and 110 years old. So there is no age, uh, no limit uh, to invest on Lita. And we are very happy about that. Contrary to what is happening usually in the investment world, 30% of the, the investors on the platform are women. This is something I wanted to mention because usually we speak of a rate of more, more or less 10%. Uh, and it's the same actually with the entrepreneurs that we uh, finance. And Pete, the first language is, sorry, Italian uh, for the Italian platform, of course. Um, yeah, a lot of women entrepreneurs, and this is something that we, we want to, to, to value also uh, because we believe that social entrepreneurship should be inclusive at all levels, including gender equality. On Lita, I don't know if you've ever tried, but more or less 80% uh, of the people uh, have never invested before. So it's really something that we want to trigger. We want to trigger the fact that uh, people invest for the first time in sustainable projects and we accompany, accompany them on the long run in order to understand also uh, what it means to, uh, to invest. Most of the people have never invested before or have been advised maybe by their banker, but never directly in a, in a positive and an impactful company. So I think key figures to mention, and I'm really happy to answer your questions about that after. What we are trying to develop for you at Lita is um, a full investment strategy. Um, responsible investments are very trendy nowadays. Um, we are trying to uh, find a way to finance uh, the prism of, of it all, meaning that we not only finance super sexy startups that we call startup for good, uh, maybe you, you've heard about Give a Day or you've heard about Billy uh, that we help to finance with Lita. But we also want to finance companies that are uh, local, really um, engaged in their communities, in their territory, uh, that are looking for uh, local ambassadors among them. We also finance uh, companies that are active in real estate, sustainable real estate, uh, can be co-living, it can be social housing. Um, and this is maybe um, some types of investment that are a bit less risky, let's say, that are less risky. Uh, but we believe that it's uh, by uh, balancing a little bit the portfolios that we will manage to, to create also portfolios that are low risk. And I will come back on the risk later. Uh, and this is also the reason why we finance SMEs and association, mostly in bonds. Um, it's uh, structures that are more mature and that have uh, significant uh, um, track records. Uh, you've maybe participated uh, in, the, in the fundraising for Belvas Chocolate Factory last year. Um, we, we, we received here at Lita, this was very good to be behind the scene, lots of chocolates from uh, Belvas that we uh, also gave you during the events where we were meeting you. Um, and we would like at some point to focus on renewable energy. They are doing it already in France and uh, we're looking uh, towards this field also in Belgium. And for your full information, we raise minimum 50,000 euros uh, for, for companies. So entrepreneurs that are coming are looking for more than 50,000 euros uh, and we raise it in shares or in bonds. Um, I didn't say it, but we are we have an, a, a, a label by the FSMA that is controlling everything that we are doing. And this is why everything that I explain you a little bit after is very important. It's because we need to protect consumers. We need to um, uh, provide them with good investments and we try to limit the risk. Of course, we're talking about investment, so the risk is always there. Um, I will not lie about that, it's true. 
and we are informing and and doing uh, um, full analysis in order to to stress to stress uh, some some risk that could happen with within the investment. So. Uh, when you have a full profile, when you're registered fully on the platform, you can access an investment file and check a little bit all this risk and, and make yourself also uh, the, the, the analysis yourself based on, on what we've prepared for you. So this is very important. Uh, one notion yeah, on, on most of the companies that we are raising uh, for in shares, you can benefit of the tax shelter. This I will let you um, have a look at our page about the tax shelter if you're interested in, uh, in tax reductions, uh, but I will not go further on this uh, on this topic. Um, three examples. Nowadays, we are raising funds for Moncaftier, La Ressource, and we, we're going to be with uh, Nasta after from La Ressource and Puig. Um, it's three companies that have uh, passed all the all the processes of uh, analysis of, uh, of LITA and that you can find nowadays on, on the platform. Now, uh, September is arriving, so very soon you're going to have uh, more uh, enterprises to, to follow and support. Um, I'm going to do the slides, please. Um, so about the portfolio, you can you can find it on uh, on Lita. Um, and I was saying like SMEs, local local enterprises, uh, startups. It's really something for the taste of everyone. I invite you to have a look, um, and I will explain you how we decide uh, which companies we are fostering online, because Lita is not a crowdfunding platform like any other kind. First, we are uh, dedicated to impact, okay, but also we conduct a really uh, deep analysis of each company that we will see online. So the selection is very important. Basically, I will tell you in, in, in a bit less than three years of full activity uh, uh, of LITA here in Belgium, we met approximately 900 companies, 900 impactful companies, it's quite a lot, and we've selected so far less than 5% of them. This allows us to select the best, the cream of the cream, uh, if I may say, in every field that we are uh, looking to forward to finance. Um, we conduct with them few di full di due diligences in during this time, we are really going to challenge their ideas, to uh, challenge their business model, uh, to challenge their strategy. And it's very important because we do this during several weeks uh, in order to present them to an investment committee that is uh, composed of, of several people, some of the shareholders of LITA, some of the team members of LITA, but also some exterior people uh, that are used to invest in companies or that are used to analyze companies or to accompany companies. Um, so, for example, you will find uh, the hub Brussels, you will find some uh, um, experts from different sectors and fields, uh, you will find uh, Credal uh, at the committee of LITA, um, and I will go back on that uh, a bit later uh, with our partners that are making it happen with us every day. Um, so really important selection. Uh, I invite you to, to read what summarizes uh, these due diligences. Uh, it's the investment file that I was talking about. Um, and this is several weeks of work for us for each company that is, that is uh, choosing to work with us. It looks like this, um, basically a very unreadable file, <laughs> file that is uh, composed of uh, dozens of pages that we design after for you and in which you will find each of these uh, key points, the value proposition of the company, the team, which is super important when you analyze uh, an enterprise, the market, the offer, uh, and we focus not only on finance, but also on the impact and on the societal, environmental, and governance measures that uh, the companies and the, the entrepreneurs are, are, are applying uh, within their businesses. So super important. I'm sure that you will have questions about that. Uh, how do we measure impact? How do we conduct the due diligences in, in depth? Uh, for those who have never read our investment files, um, 
it's uh, it's quite uh, 360 degrees what you will find in in those um and i invite you to to ask questions about that and my my team in here in the back i think is uh, is going to to answer to you um Accompaniment also is quite full for the entrepreneurs. I don't know if uh, we have some entrepreneurs among you here today, uh, but I wanted to, to let you know a little bit how we are working with them. Uh, not only we challenge the hypothesis that they, they bring to us in the financial plans, the strategy, etc., but also we prepare and we fundraise with them. They don't do that alone. This is why on LITA you will find for the entrepreneurs full support um, towards the entrepreneurs. We uh, structure the financial elements, we structure um, the, the juridical steps that they need to, to follow, uh, and we, we move uh, forward with them uh, in, in everything that they need to do. Uh, we work with them on the valuation of the company. When there's a valuation, we work with them on the shareholders agreement. Um, and I invite you, to uh, read maybe the FAQ, la foire aux questions of LITA, uh, on the web page that will explain you a little bit all these processes. But really, we, we are going to, to go all around uh, in order for them to, um, to be successful in their fundraising. Uh, I'm proud to say today that 95% of uh, the companies that have been raising funds with us have reached their minimum targets or the objective that they wanted to 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 find raising money with us um, so it's uh, it's quite a good um, a quite a good rate also we're good in rates um, and we do for them the full coaching so every week we are sitting with them and we are looking towards uh, uh, making their their fundraising successful uh, we are helping them with newsletters with uh, social networks um, we contact the press for them, etc. Uh, so it's uh, it's really a, a teamwork uh, that we implement behind uh, each entrepreneur that is uh, uh, willing to to collaborate with us. And we see us more as partners, where um, and long long term partners uh, to do so. Something that you don't see also on the platform that is quite important for in uh, for entrepreneurs is that. We have some kind of a one-stop shop uh, for entrepreneurs, meaning that not only there's the crowd um, and you can invest through the, part the platform from 100 euros on, in most companies, 100 or 2 Euro, 200 euros on, but we also do the work of working with impact funds, impact investment funds, public funds, and uh, with networks of business angels, with uh, um, people that are um, managing private equities for the clients, uh, with family offices. Um, so this is very important because not only uh, there will be a movement of ambassadors uh, behind an entrepreneur that will be developed thanks to the crowdfunding. And, and I think it's uh, a little bit like giving back the, the power to the people to, um, to follow and encourage the trends and the entrepreneurs they want to see in the world. But also we go find professional investors for them. And thanks to all the job and all the, the structuration of the deals that we've uh, conducted before. So it's, uh, it's something quite important. Um, people trust us. And people trust the analysis of Lita. Um, and this is why uh, some entrepreneurs are very eager to work with us uh, because they know that they're in good hands to, um, to, to, to raise their, their goal, to reach their goal, sorry. Um, I, I, I want to come back to the, the basics of, uh, of Lita. Lita's mission is really to um, democratize impact investing. And so the crowd is super important for us. Uh, it's really uh, a window open to the world to showcase uh, entrepreneurs that are doing good to our planet and to our society. So we will never um, um, step out of this crowdfunding uh, uh, business model that we have. It's really something that we, we want to um, make stronger and to improve uh, because for us, uh, it's a little bit like changing society and changing the system in a bottom-up way. Uh, not only people with, with power and money can invest in successful and positive companies, but also the crowd. And this is something that uh, was a bit new because um, 
I would say in Belgium and, and, and in France, um, impact investing was quite, um, um, was not really trendy. I, I must say, like, um, I do not find the word, but it's like impact investing was more um, for people with a lot of money and not for the citizens. What we are trying to bring here with Lita is the, the, the fact that everyone can be a change maker. This is the, the motto of Ashoka. Everyone can be a change maker. And I, we think that everyone can use uh, money and savings in order to change the world. And this is a, a movement that we want to create. This is why the community of investors is also super important for us. Uh, it's because uh, we, we love the entrepreneurs, but we love also the people that are um, that are supporting them. And, and I hope that by listening everything that I'm saying today, maybe you will be even more tomorrow. Um, so voila. But so full accompaniment of the entrepreneurs in order to succeed the, the fundraising. And then for them, we do the follow-up. So the follow-up for investors, it's that... Every time that you invest, we will take care of reimbursing when you invest in bonds, or we will take care of sending you the tax shelter um, notification uh, attestation that you you need for your 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 tax um, your tax uh, documents. Uh, we conduct also uh, a full reporting uh, once a year, so it's a small due diligence that we conduct with each company that has been raising funds with us, in order to see how the activity has been doing during the past year and uh, what are the key um, the key points and the strategy that should be implemented in the future. Uh, we also organize uh, the online voting to general assemblies. Maybe some of you that are here today uh, can vote for uh, the general assembly of uh, Habibi and uh, and we have ABB nowadays and MODS. Um, and we will take care uh, in a few years, I will come back on that, on the exit also of the investors, which is super important. For the companies, I was saying a long-term partnership and long-term accompaniment. Why? Because not only of these tools that I just mentioned, but also because in most cases, we are sitting at the board of the directors. Um, so this is super important for us. It means that we are following them step by step uh, in their growth and in their success. Um, and we give them advice on how to advance uh, on a strategic and financial way. So the follow-up for us is super important. And this is why today um, we have a, a rate of success of the companies that is quite high. I will come back on that um, later. Alors, how does it work? Um, we try to have a follow-up also of the investors, and I was saying the entrepreneurs. So maybe some of you have been called by your teams. Um, we spent more than seven, seven, 700 hours on the phone last year, uh, calling more than 10,000 times people in order to um, answer the questions and in order to um, um, make sure that they, they've understood well the files and the, the companies that we are um, providing for them. The General Assemblies, we've organized 45 last year. We conducted 41 reportings and we've been sitting in board meetings for more than 320 hours. Yes, it's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, so it's to give you some key figures of uh, uh, Lita behind the scene and what we do uh, to follow companies. Um, voila. The portfolio of Lita, I was saying in the introduction, uh, a bit more than 100, it's 110 companies that we've been financing so far. And I wanted to tell you something. The analysis that we do it, we don't, we don't do it only for, for the fun. Um, we do it because we want you to um, minimize the risk that you have when you invest in a company. So today, on the 110 companies that uh, uh, we've been financing so far, there's only five bankruptcies that have occurred. So far, five. Um, so it's uh, it's quite a good rate. And every time, I must say, every time we have uh, appointments with uh, banks or funds, they are quite uh, amazed by this uh, this rate. Um, it means that our analysis, analysts are, are doing a really good job in selecting the, the right project holders and the right companies. Um, there's, uh, 
So, so, so all these things that we are doing, sitting for that many hours uh, in uh, in boards, uh, uh, conducting the general assemblies, supporting the entrepreneurs on the long run, uh, make, making the, the 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 investors understand and and also um, generate maybe sometimes a feeling of community behind a brand or a company. This is super important, and this is what it makes the portfolio of Lita being very um, sane. I would say. Yeah. Um, about the exits, um, some some people are asking me sometimes, uh, what about the exit? When will I get back my money? Uh, when can I uh, step out of this company? Uh, we invest in a company. This is a little bit the goal, huh? to either to 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 support or to make a little bit of money. Um, on the returns, maybe uh, I will start. On the returns, when you have bonds on Lita, this is something that you can see directly. So you have uh, bonds that uh, we provide for you um, that are four, five, six percent per year. On the companies that uh, you invest in in shares, so far it has five years in France and three years in Belgium, and we are conducting now end of 2020. So after five years in France, two exits of uh, of companies of the portfolio, um, two positive exits. Um, so I was saying little rate of bankruptcy. Exits that we are trying to uh, to foster and to um, make happen, and it's happening uh, after four years of investment because Lita started five years ago, but the first investments were four years ago. So it's uh, it's quite good, and we are hoping that in the upcoming years we are going to be able to exit from a little bit of uh, more companies um, a bit faster. Voilà. This is all thanks to uh, a golden team, I would say. Uh, this is my colleagues from uh, from Paris, but maybe I will show you a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, my my office and my colleagues. Um, I want to to give them also the opportunity to uh, <laughs> to show their faces. So this is uh, this is Muriel, uh, my colleague who is in charge of uh, of marketing and uh, and who is uh, also typing all the investment files that you will find. Uh, Fully bilingual, uh, Muriel, she comes from Ghent. This is Margot, who is in uh, the analyst team, and Margot is working right now on full diligences, <laughs> on, uh, on, on, the, on due diligences, because we have a committee uh, next, um, next week. Uh, so new projects arriving very soon on the platform. And here, so I show you the office also. Uh, and here, up, we have Madeleine, and Grégoire <laughs> that are working uh, to uh, answer all the questions of the investors and uh, and that are committed to to make the campaigns uh, happen. So maybe some of you uh, got them on, uh, reached them on the phone already or through the chat. Uh, but they are the reason why the the campaigns are succeeding also. <laughs> voilà. Um, so it was to give you a little uh, a little tour, um, and we are located at the second floor of. Uh, of the Impact House, uh, in the city center of Brussels, Arlo subway station. Um, well, I will go back on the PowerPoint. Um, and I think I clicked on, uh, on delete. <laughs> so Muriel is going to put it back. Uh, thank you, Muriel. Um, and we have Leo that is, uh, that is not here. Uh, Vincent that is going to join the team. We are now recruiting for the people that are interested, uh, a new analyst because, uh, Louis is leaving us uh, soon. Um, voilà. And I want to, to tell you a little bit what we are doing, not only for impact investing, but for social enterprises. So I've created a few slides for you, um, and I, I'm happy to, to share that. So um, some of our shareholders here in Belgium, Credal, Four Wings Foundation, Impact Capital, uh, a foundation dedicated to eradicate poverty, uh, an impact investment fund, and um, a cooperative that is uh, working to, towards uh, alternative finance, microcredit, and financing social businesses since about 30 years. Uh, so this is our main partners, but we also, of course, move from the office and, and meet uh, some people in incubators, in impact investment funds. Uh, we go to we go visit uh, public entities in, in different regions, uh, and we work with different networks, uh, EVPA, Network on the Namer, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really uh, 
being uh, on site with the people that are making uh, social business things uh, happen and, and grow. Uh, this is really something that uh, we want to, to foster a full ecosystem of, uh, of people that are collaborating. Um, to give you a few examples of what I'm just saying, um, on the first line you will, you will find a few um, initiatives that we are part of uh, in France. Um, maybe some of you know the CEO of Lita, Eva Sadoun. Uh, she's a board member of uh, each of these companies, of these uh, organizations on, on, on top of the line. Uh, she just took the co-presidency of the MOVES, uh, the Mouvement des Entrepreneurs Sociaux in, Fran in France. Uh, and she's a board member of, uh, of Financial that is labelizing uh, uh, ethical products. Um, and for the MOVES, she's the first female uh, president, co-president, and she's less than 30 years old. So I think uh, we should applaud. <laughs> if we could, I would applaud. Um, in Belgium, we have been um, part of several initiatives. We have been the initiator of Impact Now, a tour of Belgium uh, to to source and to uh, and to find and to talk with uh, social entrepreneurs. Um, we've been conducting this uh, two years ago in Belgium, last year in Italy. And we've been part of two very uh, meaningful for me um, initiatives. Um, one is Solifin. So Solifin is, is uh, basically a movement of uh, ethical financiers that are uh, helping social businesses. Um, and we are working very closely since the foundation of Solifin, since the idea of Solifin, actually, I'm part of the board uh, of the of this organization, um, same as Pete, uh, by the way. Um, and basically, what we are trying to do is to uh, m do more matchmaking in, be in between uh, social entrepreneurs and financiers to understand also everything that is around financing a company and financing it sustainably. Um, and so I'll let you check the website, but it's something that uh, might interest some of you. It's really a great network to be part of or to follow on Facebook, for example. Um, I have a, a lot of pleasure to, to, to conduct some activities with Solifin, uh, a great network. Um, and I had the chance to participate also to the, uh, the implementation of a platform that has been uh, commended, I would say, by the, the king, uh, King Philip, um, and that has led to a network of practitioners around social businesses um, that is called Be Impact, uh, to inspire, to inspire, sorry, uh, the general public, everyone, like you and me, uh, to, to, to become more supportive of these social businesses or to create social businesses. So you will find everything on beimpact.org, I believe. Um, and we have the, uh, the immense honor to have the king coming to our events to invite us to speak about social businesses uh, and to uh, now take into account uh, this kind of businesses every time he goes abroad or when he was going abroad um, and to and to defend uh, these actors. So we are very proud of that. Um, here in the house, there's Ashoka also, and Ashoka is uh, is one of the members of B-Impact, uh, and I salute them if they are here. I know Ashling, you're listening to, to me. Um, well, so two initiatives to, to foster also the community, to foster social businesses, social entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship everywhere we are uh, and I, I, I believe it's uh, it's uh, quite a good idea <laughs> to do uh, we're not only making um, not only raising funds but also raising awareness about uh, issues of the world and how to solve them and the solutions that are um, present in Belgium so our impact to summarize a little bit our impact um, democratization of finance uh, making it uh, more transparent, um, being as much pedagogical as we can um, in order to make everyone understand finance and, and, and investments. I was saying uh, that 80% of, uh, of the investors on Lita never invested in sustainable uh, companies before. Lobbying towards the public uh, ent entities and, and, and maybe also some crowns, I would say, uh, in order to, to foster uh, the good and hard work of uh, all the social entrepreneurs that we are helping, to ease financing impact, of course, 
and you are more and more people uh, following us and, and registered on Lita. So I thank you for that. We need you. Uh, a one-stop shop for entrepreneurs with uh, full coverage of uh, their needs when they need to fundraise for their for their businesses, and of course um, to to facilitate or to consolidate the numbers uh, from the jobs uh, that the social enterprises are are, are creating. Um, so I believe this is our impact. Maybe you can find more. Uh, I'll be happy if you if you can share my ideas. But uh, to summarize, I would say these six points. Um, to finish, to conclude on that, and I will uh, give the floor to, to Nasta from La Ressource. Um, I would like to invite you really to uh, ask me your question. I will answer just after the, the pitch of, uh, of Nasta. And I would like to in, uh, invite you to invest in the world you want to live in. Um, voilà. Thank you. Nasta, the floor is yours. So Nasta is one of the co-founders of La Ressource. Uh, La Ressource is a company that is uh, fundraising right now uh, on Lita. Uh, hello, Nasta. How are you? Hello. Uh, ça va? Ça va? Oui, oui, ça va. You prefer to do it in French? Uh, oui, yes. Okay. Uh, for those who do, do not understand, we have a team in the background that can uh, translate if you if you raise your hands or if you if you do not do not understand french we'll be happy to translate as much as we can but everything can be found online uh, on data.co la resource is almost at the minimum uh, target for its fundraising nesta congratulations you you're going to be there very soon yes thank you Celine. okay tu nous en dis plus sur la ressource oui alors, ben, tout d'abord, euh, la ressource, eh bien, c'est une équipe. Et donc, euh, l'équipe, elle est composée donc, de trois personnes. Euh, il y a Alex, donc, qui est issu du secteur financier. Et donc, euh, euh, c'est l'homme des chiffres dans l'équipe. Euh, en plus de gérer pas mal d'autres aspects du projet. C'est lui qui est en contact d'ailleurs avec, euh, avec Céline et Lita, le plus euh, de l'équipe. Ensuite, il y a Candice, euh, qui euh, est... Euh, euh, architecte d'intérieur, euh, éco-designeuse, euh, et donc il nous a euh, donc, euh, créé les magasins, donc euh, celui euh, d'Eterbé qui est celui maintenant de Jet, euh, et alors qui est aussi un petit peu l'esprit innovateur de l'équipe, qui apporte un petit peu des de, de, de petites innovations de temps à autre. Euh, et puis alors il y a moi, euh, Nasta, donc euh, euh, j'ai étudié la science po et je me forme en euh, herboristerie, phytothérapie, et donc je suis plutôt dans tout ce qui est euh, recherche et développement. Euh, ainsi que euh, je m'occupe du recrutement. Voilà, voilà, ça c'est pour l'équipe. Alors ensuite, pour l'histoire de la ressource, ben, ça a commencé par Almasana. Et donc Almasana, c'est une ASBL qui a été fondée par Candice et moi-même. Et euh, on a commencé ça en 2016. Et donc l'objectif, c'était vraiment de sensibiliser euh, à l'utilisation d'ingrédients naturels et faire ses produits soi-même, donc euh, produits de ménage, mais aussi cosmétiques. Et donc, on a commencé, euh, on a de plus en plus de, de demandes, on faisait des ateliers à domicile, on a fait pas mal d'événements, euh, et actuellement, on est à plus de 3000 personnes qui sont donc passées par nos ateliers. Euh, et là est venu Alex, euh, on l'a rencontré, on a discuté, on a décidé de créer la ressource. Et donc, la ressource, effectivement, l'idée, c'est aller plus loin, en fait. On est parti d'un constat pendant les ateliers, on s'est rendu compte que les gens euh, ne savaient pas où trouver les ingrédients, euh, il manquait quelque chose. Euh, on nous demandait beaucoup, souvent un espace. Donc, c'est comme ça que, euh, est venue l'idée de faire la ressource. Et donc, la ressource, c'est vraiment l'idée de faire une droguerie durable et partagée. Donc, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire euh, ben, C'est d'avoir au même endroit les ingrédients pour faire ses produits soi-même, mais aussi euh, un endroit où on pourrait créer ses propres produits. Et on serait guidé euh, pour faire ça. Et il y aura aussi des produits finis. Donc ça, c'est vraiment euh, l'idée euh, de base. Donc voilà, donc des produits zéro déchet. Donc il faut savoir qu'on fonctionne ici euh, aussi dans un esprit le plus local possible. Donc euh, pour les produits euh, solides tels que les savons, les shampoings, euh, on va faire appel à des artisans bruxellois ou aux alentours de Bruxelles. Euh, donc, on a vraiment, euh, il y a vraiment énormément en fait, de, de ressources ici euh, tout près. Donc, il n'y a pas besoin d'aller de, chercher des, des choses très loin. Euh, ça, c'est pour tout ce qui est vraiment zéro déchet, euh, dans, dans solide, pardon. Euh, ensuite, on a le bar à pompe. Et donc, le bar à pompe, ça va être tout le vrac liquide. Donc, autant pour les produits euh, cosmétiques que les produits de ménage. Ensuite, on a le vrac euh, vrac et donc ça va être vraiment toutes les poudres, des copeaux de savon, du bicarbonate, des argiles, euh, donc pour faire ces euh, produits soi-même, mais aussi à utiliser tel quel. 
Donc, euh, tout le monde connaît maintenant le bicarbonate de soude, par exemple. Voilà, c'est quelque chose qu'on peut trouver ici assez facilement. Euh, on a aussi, euh, en dehors de, des produits qu'on vend, il y a euh, en plus vraiment le conseil. Donc, il faut savoir que toutes les personnes qui sont en magasin, bah, comme moi maintenant, je suis en magasin, <rire> euh, voilà, on, on, on forme en fait toutes les personnes qui sont en magasin à vraiment pouvoir aider, guider euh, les clients. Euh, et à, de cette manière-là, les sensibiliser aussi à savoir ben, voilà, euh, quel, quel produit acheter, comment, comment est-ce qu'ils peuvent adapter euh, tout ça euh, à leur type de peau, à leur maison, enfin vraiment répondre à leurs demandes de la manière la plus précise possible, répondre à toutes leurs questions, parce qu'il y en a parfois qui débarquent, qui n'ont aucune connaissance, ils, ils sont juste curieux, euh, et donc on peut aussi les aider à faire leurs produits eux-mêmes ben, dans, dans le labo. On a le labo au magasin, euh, qui va permettre justement bah, de les guider, de les aider à fabriquer leurs propres produits quand ils ne savent pas par quoi commencer. Euh, ensuite, euh, bah, pour nos ambitions, bah, on a commencé donc par un premier magasin maintenant euh, ici à Etherbeek où je suis. Euh, donc on est situé près de la place Jourdan euh, et on a été vraiment très bien accueillis accueilli dans le quartier. Euh, par les autres euh, commerçants euh, et par euh, les personnes du quartier. Il faut savoir qu'on avait déjà fait un pop-up store ici l'année passée et c'est pour ça aussi qu'on a choisi de s'implanter ici pour notre première boutique. Euh, ensuite, on vient d'ouvrir ce samedi à Jet. Et là, euh, on l'a fait en partenariat avec The Barn Biomarket. Euh, ils sont venus nous proposer en fait, de partager l'espace avec eux. C'était une super opportunité pour nous. Euh, et donc, euh, voilà, on, on a décidé de se lancer euh, avec eux à Jet. Et euh, bah, l'ouverture du week-end passé euh, était un réel succès. Donc, on est vraiment ravis de cette collaboration voilà, qui ne fait que commencer et qu'on a hâte de voir se développer. Euh, et euh, pour la suite, bah, on espère ouvrir un magasin hein, en septembre 2022. Euh, la première année, on sera vraiment d'une vitesse de croisière euh, avec euh, les, béné les bénéfices qui suivent pour l'ouverture effectivement de ce troisième point de vente et qui sait par la suite ouvrir plusieurs points de vente euh, voilà pour que ça soit vraiment des euh, boutiques euh, au plus, pour aller au plus près des gens. L'idée, c'est vraiment de se situer le plus près possible des gens. Il y a vraiment une grosse demande euh, dans tout ce qui est non alimentaire. Donc voilà, il y a vraiment pas mal d'espace à couvrir à ce niveau-là. Euh, une autre ambition, c'est aussi de développer nos propres produits euh, et donc notre propre marque il faut savoir qu'on a engagé une cosmétologue dans l'équipe, elle nous a rejoint euh, au fin juin et donc euh, c'est aussi une ambition de, de développer euh, la marque La Ressource, autant pour euh, les détergents que pour euh, les cosmétiques euh, donc avec des ingrédients les plus locaux possibles euh, et plus naturels bien évidemment euh, et alors euh, euh, pour l'impact euh, donc notre euh, bah, voilà pour l'impact il y a le côté sensibilisation comme je le disais avant le fait que voilà les gens ils arrivent par curiosité parfois euh, et qu'on les sensibilise on leur explique euh, bah, pas plus tard que tantôt il y a une personne qui est rentrée euh, qui, qui cherchait juste du liquide pour les mains et, euh, et voilà je lui ai expliqué l'intérêt en fait de prendre un savon solide plutôt qu'un savon liquide euh, elle était vraiment assez curieuse assez étonnée parce qu'elle pensait que le savon solide était quelque chose de, de vieux jeu euh, voilà, dans sa tête, c'était quelque chose de vieux. Je fais non, non, ça redevient la mode. Il y a de plus en plus de gens qui utilisent. Elle fait ah bon, je savais pas. Et donc voilà, donc ça c'est quelque chose, ça fait partie aussi. Voilà, c'est de sensibiliser et euh, tout type de public. On se rend compte qu'il y a un public cible, mais il y a pas mal de gens qui rentrent un peu par hasard et qui finalement euh, on les sensibilise et ça devient des clients. Donc ça c'est vraiment intéressant. Euh, à côté de ça. Euh, il y a le, le côté, euh, voilà, on, on est dans l'amélioration avec les partenaires, l'amélioration logistique du vrac. Euh, ben, par exemple, ici, pour notre pompe, euh, on a une pompe en magasin, donc pour tout ce qui est vrac liquide, ben, on aimerait bien pouvoir proposer euh, un, un liquide lessive et un produit nettoyant belge. On est en contact avec euh, un, un fabricant, euh, justement, qui, qui, qui fait quelque chose dans l'économie enfin, de, de manière circulaire, voilà, avec des ingrédients de récupération. Ben, L'idée, c'est d'arriver à, à vraiment euh, euh, arriver à faire en sorte de, de trouver un système qui, qui corresponde. Et alors, on va, on va travailler en fait ensemble avec les partenaires pour trouver une solution afin que le VRAC soit de plus en plus disponible pour des solutions locales. Voilà. Ça, c'est un dernier point. Euh, ah oui, et alors, euh, pourquoi l'ITA ah. <rire> euh, Eh bien, euh, l'ITA, c'est... D'abord, on, on a rencontré euh, Céline, c'était qu'on dise qui a rencontré euh, Céline, qui a un petit peu expliqué l'intérêt, en fait, euh, de, de faire une levée de fonds. On ne savait pas du tout euh, que c'était possible. À la base, c'était juste Candice et moi, il n'y avait pas encore Alex, on ne connaissait pas du tout ces, ces principes-là. 
Euh, et donc, elle nous a vraiment euh, ouvert les yeux sur, sur cette possibilité-là. Et au moment de faire la ressource, on s'est dit, ben voilà, c'est effectivement, c'est une opportunité euh, unique, effectivement, de passer par là. Surtout qu'on va ouvrir deux magasins euh, de manière très rapprochée. On va avoir besoin de financement. Euh, et donc, euh, l'ITA était vraiment, comme je disais, une, une super opportunité. Et ils nous ont vraiment bien aidé, euh, justement, pour faire, pour construire le due diligence, euh, pour identifier nos besoins. Euh, ça a été quelque chose, c'est l'exercice, et l'air de rien, n'est pas toujours euh, évident de vraiment, euh, voilà, déterminer les, les besoins en termes de chiffres. Et donc ça, l'ITA nous a accompagné tout du long euh, et à vraiment euh, faire l'analyse de la situation. Donc ça, pour ça, euh, surtout que, ben voilà, et aussi l'ITA le, le, est aligné avec nos valeurs et ça, c'était très important pour nous. Voilà. Merci Nasta, c'est super. Voilà. Mais, je vais juste terminer en disant un petit mot sur. Euh, bah, euh, donc, on est toujours euh, en levée de fonds. On va bientôt, comme l'a dit euh, Céline, euh, atteindre euh, le minimum. Euh, donc, voilà, je vous encourage euh, à investir pour la ressource, pour notre projet. Euh, et euh, bah, merci à vous pour votre attention. Merci beaucoup Nasta. Euh... En fait, moi, j'avais rencontré Candice dans le, dans le cadre euh, du, du, de, de, de l'écosystème zéro déchet, parce que Candice est, est très connue en région bruxelloise sur, sur tout ce qui est zéro déchet. Et ce que vous avez fait, Nasta, avec elle, euh, dans Almasana pendant plusieurs années, euh, a été plébiscité, je pense, par beaucoup de monde. Donc, c'était en fait tout simplement une, une pure rencontre euh, qui ne nécessitait pas nécessairement de parler du financement de la ressource, euh, qui est une toute jeune coopérative en plus, qui vient de se monter, mais peut-être que du coup, la graine a germé euh, euh, suite à cette rencontre. Et puis, euh, bah, je tiens à le dire aussi, je pense que c'est une campagne qui plaît beaucoup parce que euh, vous allez être suivi par euh, un de nos partenaires qui s'appelle Funds for Good euh, et qui euh, va vous octroyer un prêt à taux zéro avec une franchise de capital de 1 à 2 ans et surtout qui va euh, vous permettre d'être coaché par un mentor expert dans le dans le retail et la vente et le, et le, le bio. Donc, euh, je suis ouais. très heureuse pour vous euh, de ça. Euh, et pour la petite histoire, ben, je, je crois qu'il y a plusieurs euh, coopérateurs qui, qui font partie ici euh, de, de ce live meeting euh, et j'en fais partie aussi. Donc, je suis euh, une heureuse coopératrice euh, de la ressource et je, je vous souhaite beaucoup de, de bonheur, de plaisir et, et de succès dans tout ce que vous faites. Ça a l'air de bien démarrer, donc euh, euh, continuez comme ça. Merci, ah, merci beaucoup. Merci. Euh, du coup, je vais prendre un petit peu euh, quelques questions qui sont posées ici. Euh, vous avez bien compris, je ne vais pas les prendre toutes. Et I will switch back to English. Uh, so, Frederico, thank you uh, for your for your question. Um, how does Vita finance itself? That's a good question. So, we have the same model as a, uh, I would say any crowdfunding platform. Um, The entrepreneur is uh, uh, is paying a fee uh, to enter the platform for all the job that we are conducting during the due diligence, um, and this fee is payable only if uh, the committee agrees on the the, the project. So um, if we conduct a full due diligence but the committee disagrees, this is our bad. This is it, it means that we have selected a project that uh, cannot uh, pass um, like important uh, um, steps and, um, and, and um, yeah, uh, considerations. Uh, and then we are, um, when we are raising funds, we have a fee of four to seven percent on the funds that uh, the entrepreneurs are raising. So four, five, six or seven percent and a very small annual uh, yearly fee uh, for all the accompaniment that uh, we, are, um, we are conducting. Um, when you invest on Lita also, you have, a, as an investor, a, a small fee that you need to pay, which is in between 1% and 3%. It depends on the amount that you invest in. Um, and this 1% or 3% is actually for us to pay uh, MangoPay, which is the, the provider for uh, uh, all the financial and the... the um, The, the exchange of money because Dita never touches the money that is uh, being sent uh, through its channels uh, and this is something that is very important and that is uh, mandatory to, to receive an agreement from the FSMA. Um, And um, and it pays also the, the signature and all the contractors that we need to have for uh, paying online, etc. So this is the this is the fee that is paid. Um, thank you for the question. Um, 
Ingmar, what are the consequences for the tax benefit when a company goes bankrupt or is taken over before the formal exit moment? Alors, this is the good thing. Uh, good to know when you invest and you have a tax shelter. The first condition of the tax shelter to uh, have it fully, uh, 45% for, for startups, uh, for SMEs, uh, is really to, to stay for four years uh, among the shareholders of the company. Um, if you stay for four years, you will benefit the first year of 45% of deduction on your, on your tax uh, um, on your tax payments, so so you will see a line that says okay, but you you've decreased your taxes of this amount. Um, and if a company goes bankrupt or is uh, taken over by uh, by another entity, you will keep the benefit of it. So this is the, the the good thing to do. I invite you to read the the page about tax shelter that we have uh, written for you, um, and and I think you will find uh, also some information there. Um, Sharam, I think you have. Uh, uh, some questions about uh, the exit and uh, the return on investment. Uh, so uh, return on investment, I want to uh, make it clear also here. Um, what you can expect from social enterprises is not what you can expect from any kind of startups that is uh, going uh, to, to go on the, on the trade market uh, within three or five years. So uh, clearly uh, we haven't found yet the, the, the next uh, uh, Airbnb or Facebook or, or Google of uh, social enterprises. We're looking for you for it. Um, but it means that we expect returns that um, are an average of uh, four to five percent, and uh, let's say in between um, two and seven, eight percent per year. Um, voilà. So Pierre, I really hope that we are gonna uh, conduct some exit before your pension. Uh, I would really like to see you uh, next to your swimming pool, uh, and I, I believe that <laughs> you need to exit some companies before uh, before building it. Um, so we are trying to work on that, and this is the good work that we are conducting uh, during the during the board meetings that we had with the entrepreneurs and and towards uh, the years uh, alongside with them. Um, voilà, it's uh, it's about one hour that we are here together. I would like to thank you all. Uh, I hope that you've heard and listened and, and, and learned a bit more about Lita. Um, I invite you to follow us on the social medias. Uh, we have a Facebook page in which we are um, sharing a lot of information about uh, ethical finance, social businesses, about some trends, etc. So um, follow us on Facebook if it's not uh, yet done. Uh, and uh, I, I hope also you're, you're registered on our newsletter. And I would like to uh, let you know that uh, since it's the two years uh, on the second anniversary of the Impact House, um, there is tomorrow an event that uh, is online also. Uh, it's another session. Um, for the the, 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 the the anniversary of the Impact House, how can I adapt good habits for society, the planet, and myself? That is conducted by a, a company that is called the Impactors and that is followed um, by Ashoka here in the house. So I really hope that uh, uh, you you will register, follow the Impact House, and uh, there's it's on the website also. Um, thank you all for being here tonight, uh, and I I hope to see you soon, maybe. Uh, on uh, on a live meeting again and uh, hopefully before the end of the year or, or beginning of next year um, in live. Thank you very much and our phone number is 02588 Do not hesitate to reach us if you have any questions um, and voilà, we'll be happy to to communicate with you. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye. <laughs>